Hey guys, Chris here from CNN Productions bringing you some Pokemon Gold. Today we are going to be going through uh, the Slowpoke Well, actually. So let's get right into it. I'm doing a bit of postcom, so I'm just trying to see how or well, what works better for me. This guy, oh, this guy, he bamboozles you. Alright, so he is basically, he makes Pokeballs for, um, in exchange for Apricorns. He will take the Apricorn and make a Pokeball from it. And what's going on here is he's telling about, um, you know, there's people, uh, there's Team Rocket and Slowpoke well, and they're uh, chopping off Slowpoke tails. And uh, his name's Kurt. He's deciding, I'm going to be the hero, which of course, I'm the hero but whatever he's going to go to slowpoke well and we're going to go there now i think i'm going to try to read his dialogue so here we go hey there hero the guards up top took off when i shouted at them but then i took a tumble down the well <laughs> i slammed down on my back card so i i i went too fast there but yeah basically he's saying i hurt my back so I can't do anything. You go do it for me. And here's where we get into Team Rocket for the first time. And they are... I made pretty short work of them. They're not too hard at all. So, got this battle going on. Between Rocket Grunt. Oh yeah, I forgot they're not named in this. Alright, level 9 Rattata. I'm just going to send out Debra and uh, Thundershock, you know, just make short work. Because Debra can use some experience. Alright, and Rattata is almost down. We do another Thundershock to take it out. And we miss. Rattata is just like, hey yo, I got this. And decides that it's going to tackle and quick attack, which only do 5 damage each. Not a whole lot. And right there I was fed up with Thundershock, so I just tackled him <laughs> to get the quick kill. Alright, so he's going for another Rattata. And, yes, I do switch out. Okay, I didn't think I did. I tried not to use Jenkins a lot, because the gym, I'm going to be non-stop using Jenkins. So, my plan was, let's let Debra get some experience here, and Jenkins later. So, Jenkins gets 109 experience, and we defeated the Rocket Grunt. Ah, that's not... something. <laughs> I'm just gonna stop trying to narrate them. Alright. She... She always reminded me of Jesse when I was younger. I always thought, hey, that's Jesse. But no, it more looks like Cassidy from the uh, uh, Johto series. But she starts out with the Zubat, level 9. And Thundershock's going to be super effective and take that out, no problem. And that's one dead Zubat, super effective. 103 experience. It's a nice experience gaining. Well, for this level at least. And now we have an Ekans. We're just going to go ahead and Thundershock this as well. Pretty much the main strategy. Thundershock and hope for paralysis. Because right now, we can't do strategy. We don't have any move, moves to get strategy going. And in all honesty, I usually don't do strategy. I just hit hard and hope for the best. I might change that up for the Let's Play. But, okay, so we have a Super Potion right here. And I think it's right around here that I thought there was a hidden item there. But, you know, I was just, I was like, whatever, I'm stupid. And we went on. Okay, so we have another rocket grunt. You can see the slow pokes there. They're just chilling, getting their tails cut off, you know, just taking it. This guy has a level 7 Rattata. And we just stun our shock him, it's no big deal. And Rattata goes down with ease. Debra gets 85 experience, level 16. We're all that much closer to next evolution. Now Zubat. Alright, something I want to point out was I asked for suggestions for a uh, rule that we could uh, do to 
kind of change things up a bit. And I actually did get suggestions, which I was thrilled about. I was so happy. And uh, the suggestion was uh, by James McIntosh. I'm sorry if I mispronounced uh, your name. But he said that I think you should get a Pokemon of your choice. You can choose who it is as well and who you can lose. I think that'd make it more enjoyable. Well, I agree with you, James. I think that... <clears throat> uh, my voice just went out a bit. I think that would make the, a great twist for the Let's Play. So I will be choosing who I want soon. And I will definitely get that going. Thank you for the suggestion. We appreciate all feedback. And now we're just going to go into um, this uh, rocket boss, I think it is. He, in this game, is not a main character. He has a couple reappearances, but he does not have a name. And uh, Heart Gold, however, I think his name is Cyrus. I could be wrong. And there we go. We get the paralysis on coughing. And still manages to get the tackle, but at least we're definitely faster for the kill. And I went for a tackle just to be safe on getting this guy out. 342 experience, almost level 17. Now, he will have a lot more Pokemon in, next, uh, in the upcoming times we fight him. But right now, he is just weakling with a level 14 coughing. And now he's just saying after three years, we're going to get Team Rocket back up and going. And there's Kurt checking the slowpokes, seeing if they have tails. Way to go, hero. Team Rocket has been taken off. Or has taken off. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm not... <laughs> oh. I sound like Zero Wing. If you guys have ever played any Sega, you would know what Zero Wing is. It has the worst translation ever in any game, I believe. I might do a uh, quick let's play, you know, just the highlights, and that main cutscene, biggest highlight of them all. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to actually get something like that going. But, actually, I want to know, uh, do you guys think I should uh, try to get another series going with, like, Amnesia or something? Because Amnesia is something I've been wanting to play a long time. And I will admit, I did play through it a bit, but I, I figured out, like, my recording looked rather bad when I went to go process it. So I decided not to upload that, but instead ask for your feedback before I start doing that. Because I don't want to uh, post something and you guys not be interested. So if you guys could um, leave your input there, that would be nice. Alright, so now we have... Uh, Kind of a double battle, but not really. Double battles were introduced in uh, Gen 3, Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, and especially in Colosseum, and, well, in the upcoming years, Gale of Darkness. But what these double battles are is basically you have two trainers with uh, the either one Pokemon each, two Pokemon each, or three each, and um, they will send them out one at a time. So it's kind of a double battle, but not really. I don't know how you describe it, but the this whole gem is bug. So if you got a flying type while you were out on, let's say, um, first route after you get your starter, or if you got Cyndaquil, you are set. You have this in the bag. If you have to play it through with Croconaw, I definitely suggest you get Pidgey or... Well, I think Pidgey's the only thing that can really help you right now. I definitely suggest getting Pidgey. Or even Butterfree. Butterfree can learn Gust, which in turn, it will be resist the, it will resist most of the moves here, so it's kind of a win-win. Alright, so Jenkins gets 135 experience, almost level 19. Now Weedle. Weedles have the most annoying uh Poke Power later on. I hate Poison Point. Poison Point is basically if you use a physical attack, then it will hit, and sometimes you'll get poisoned. I hate Poison Point with a passion. 
I'm not too up to date with like stats, you know, natures and everything. But I just know Poison Point. I hate it. All right, so this guy's just like Bug Pokemon are the greatest, and he, I think, has one of the <laughs> worst teams in here. He sends out a Weedle first, and you know, you're just like, oh, well, it's a Weedle. How bad can his team be? It's level seven. Granted, you know, you might not have strong Pokemon as of now. It, I think, it's well leveled for the uh, for the area, but. Then you're thinking, what's next? It's a Kakuna. What's Kakuna? Weedle's Evolution. So, what do you think would be good after a Kakuna? Do you think it's going to be, oh, I think he's going to have a Caterpie. Or I think he's going to have a Spinarak. No. He has a Beedrill. Kakuna's Evolution. One of the worst teams I have seen in this game. And I've seen a lot of bad teams. He just has the first, second, and third evolution of one Pokemon family. I don't see how that is useful. Now, he does pull off the Fury Attack, but it only does two damage per hit. And he hits, like, four times? Yeah, four. I was surprised I didn't uh, knock him out in one hit, but... It's level 12. Rather leveled for this area. Alright, we get 408 experience. And now we're going to go not to Bugsy yet. We're going to go finish off this last trainer. But I think, okay, I, I know most of you might not know this, but whenever I was a kid, whenever I was playing gold, you know, back in 2000, 1999. Well, not 1999. I was three, maybe. No, I could have been playing then. But uh, a lot of people were confusing the gender of Bugsy. There was battles going of, hey, I think he's a guy. No, he's a girl, or she's a girl. I will tell you, I didn't talk to him, but if you talk to the um, little, uh, if you talk to the guy who always gives you advice for the gym, he'll tell you specifically, hey, Bugsy's a guy. And I don't see why a lot of people don't talk to him. I don't because I've pretty much gotten what he has down to a system, but um, I don't see why a lot of people don't talk to him on the first try. Alright, now we're going to fight Bugsy. Bugsy is the gym leader for this gym, rather weak Pokemon. He will start out with uh, a Pokemon, you know, that's how a Pokemon battle works. Let's see which one it is so I don't look stupid, well, more stupid than I already do. Metapod. He starts out with his Metapod. and level 14 rather leveled so I'm just gonna take this out with a quick ember well not quick the animations are far too long in this game alright so Metapod is down and we get 216 experience next he's going to send out his ace which is Scyther so I will not switch Pokemon and he will bring out Scyther and I will go ahead and attack it with the ember I was thinking about smoke screen maybe lowering its accuracy but I was like nah Jenkins got this, you know. And now, Fury Cutter. Fury Cutter is a move that does more damage every time you use it and it hits. So, this turn it did 2. Maybe next turn it would do 4, then 8. I don't know how the multiplier works on that, but... He used Fury Cutter and I took him out really quickly. Now we have Kakuna. Kakuna is <laughs> uh, one of the worst. I don't like the Beedrill family. I much prefer Butterfree. I love Butterfree. Alright, so it's super effective. He goes down. Jenkins gets 213 experience. Levels up to 21. And with that, oh, we learn Quick Attack. But basically with that, we have beaten Bugsy. Now I'm just going to take out Leer because I don't use Leer. That, I don't use Leer, Growl, any moves like that. Unless it's... A really tough battle which I know one is going to be coming up and I do not want to fight that without any status moves <laughs> sorry about that I just got tongue-tied we received the hive badge that allows uh, Pokemon up to level 30 obey you and we get to use cut outside of battle yet we do not have cut yet so we received TM 49 and that 
that contains Fury Cutter. I'm starting to stutter over my words. If you don't miss, it gets stronger every turn. The longer you battle, the longer or the better it gets. <laughs> so he claims he discovered the move himself. All right, so that pretty much does the video. I think I'd do better with post commentary. Tell me what you think. But um, yeah, we're just gonna go heal up, and next time we're going to be going through uh, Ilex Forest or Elix Forest, whichever you pronounce it as. I don't care. I pronounce this Ilex, and we're not going to be that long, so you don't have to hear me say that much. And we might have a battle with a certain person next video. You never know. Alright, so this has been Chris from CNN Productions. See you guys next time.